As we all know, New York City is a very expensive place, so today I'm going to show you some spots and activities that you can do for really inexpensive. Starting out with the transportation, taxis can be pretty pricey, so I definitely recommend taking the subway around. It's really affordable and it's a way that you can get to all five boroughs in New York City and really see a lot and it is not too expensive at all. So the first spot that we're gonna talk about is the High Line. This was actually a restored train track line and it starts in Midtown-ish on the west side near the Hudson and you can go for 20 blocks. There's a lot of old buildings mixed with really modern buildings and a lot of art that is in that area. So I definitely recommend walking those 20 blocks and checking out all the sights and nature. It's really beautiful. So if you get hungry after that, I recommend the Chobani shop in Soho. And this was actually started as a pop-up shop for all kinds of different savory and sweet yogurt creations. And it's really delicious and healthy. But if you want a sweet treat, I recommend City Bakery, which is in Flatiron. There's also a few other locations. They have insanely good cookies. I definitely recommend the melted chocolate cookie and their hot chocolates are amazing, but super rich. You have to get it with a marshmallow, but share it. If you want to check out a historic spot in New York City that I don't think a lot of people think of when they visit, I would go to the New York Library. This one is in Midtown and it's three stories and you can walk through the whole thing, check it out, it's free and it's a very cool historic building. Obviously, we couldn't forget Central Park. That is a must when you're in New York City. And there's so much to see in Central Park. I actually did a whole video on Central Park and why I love it, and I will link that down below. But there's so much to see in all the different parts of the park. And honestly, I've lived here for seven or eight months and I haven't seen all of it. And it's definitely different from season to season as well. So it's something that is a must visit at any time of the year. Another spot that I like if you're on the Upper West Side, which you can get to from Central Park, is the Met. This is great because you can just pay whatever you want to get into the museum to see lots of really cool art. Another place that I recommend checking out if you go to Brooklyn is the Botanic Garden. If you go on a Tuesday, it is actually free for admission or between 10 a.m. and noon on Saturday mornings. And the Botanic Garden in Brooklyn is huge. There's a lot to see. I love the Japanese gardens and I love the bonsai trees. Those are probably my favorite. I went recently when my parents were visiting and there was definitely a lot to see and things were just starting to bloom for the spring. So it should be really Really, really beautiful if you go in the spring or in the summer. After you've gone to the Botanic Garden, I recommend going to the Brooklyn Bridge. This is in Dumbo and I have a video where Joe and I explored Brooklyn and we walked across the Brooklyn Bridge. That is really fun and cool to do and walk to Manhattan. So that is everything for this video. Make sure to let me know if you liked it and if you'd like to see another one of these videos for the summertime, there's definitely a lot more to do. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Oh!